All right, today on the show we are going to be focusing on viewer queries and uh, uh, to do the live financial planning for our viewers today I have with me Amol Joshi founder Plan Rupee Investment Services Amol good evening and welcome to the show and uh, we are also connected by our first viewer and uh, the first viewer that I have online is uh, Ramki from Delhi hi good evening how are you doing yeah, good evening ma'am thank you for the Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ramki, for sending us your question. And uh, yeah, uh, you are live on the channel, and our expert also can hear you. Uh, you can ask your question. Yeah. Uh, see, basically, I'm uh, uh, a retired uh, person. Okay. I have. A you have five crores in PF right now. Yeah. And you're yeah, getting eight point five, 5 interest PF. every year. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I will get uh, for another year, another year 8.5 percent uh, interest. So I just okay. am wondering whether I should keep it there or take it out and then go for alternative investment. So in a manner that it would uh, uh, secure uh, uh, steady cash flow for my daughter in future. Got it, got it. So, Mr. Ramki, what I'm able to understand is you are not uh, ready to take risk with this uh, corpus that you have accumulated, and uh, this is also uh, not the amount from which you will need money for your regular as your regular income. This is purely the amount that you would want to give your daughter for her future security, right? Yeah, you have and uh, invest through through an investment. I want to invest it and then give it to her. All right, sure. All right, yeah. so uh, it's it, have cash flow appreciation as well as steady uh, cash flows also. All right, so you need cash flow also from this amount, and that would be how much per month if I have to accumulate or calculate? Uh, so let us say uh, two lakhs a month. Two lakhs a month from this particular amount that you would like to withdraw. All right. Uh, have you ever participated in any other investment instrument apart from uh, fixed deposits, uh, PPF, PF? Have you ever been to the debt side of mutual funds? Yeah, debt side. Debt, uh, not uh, much. Uh, maybe two, three lakhs of uh, debt instruments. And then okay. uh, I also have exposure in equities to uh, about a crore. Uh, sure. Already okay. And then, yeah. Okay. Okay, but with this money, you won't be ready to uh, get an exposure in equity, right? No, I would be ready. Um, I'm you would be ready. You. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So uh, let's explore more on this and let's ask a mole if uh, any balanced strategy uh, uh, could be recommended over here. So a mole, a lot of clarity on the question already. Uh, sure. He cannot take much <clears throat> risk because two lakhs per month is the amount that he is looking for as regular income from the uh, corpus of five crores he has accumulated. So capital protection and cash flow is uh, the first two things, and then right. obviously. He wants to uh, uh, create wealth to pass it on to his daughter as well. So, uh, and he's okay with equity, uh, although I'm not sure, sure about how aggressive. But then maybe a balanced approach can help. So, what should be the strategy for him? What would you recommend? Right. The two three questions that uh, uh, Mr. Ramki has shared with us are the first very first question is: Do you think I should continue or I should withdraw and switch to alternate investments? So, let me answer that question first. Looking at not just market levels, but market valuations as well, I would advise Mr. Ramki to take staggered approach. So even if, so, so do not be in hurry, purely looking at current invest, uh, current market levels or last one year, two year returns. I think you should take your time and you have a decent time in your hands of one year. So I would say take the staggered approach of investments. That's point number one. Point number two, uh, uh, given that you want capital appreciation as well as some cash flow. If I just do a rough uh, back of the envelope calculations, your 2 lakh rupee per month actually becomes 24-25 lakh rupees per annum. That is about 5% of your capital. So if your investment is able to make 8-9% sort of a return, this is not by not taking excessive risk. So you can probably look at into uh, investing into balance advantage or hybrid strategies. If you get um, opportunity from the market in an event there is a sizable correction, then you can look at large and mid cap and flexi cap schemes. Coming to schemes, uh, this is the third part. I would say in the hybrid category or balance advantage category, you can look at ICICI Prudential Balance Advantage Fund. In the flexi cap category, you can look at Parag Parekh Flexi Cap Fund. And in the large and mid cap, you can probably choose to invest in HDFC Large and Mid Cap Fund.
All right. So uh, that's the word coming in from Amol, uh, Mr. Ramki. Is there anything else that you would want to ask? Thank you. Thanks a lot for that. But apart from this, uh, uh, what is a mutual fund rose? Right. How much proportion can I allocate for direct equity exposure? I already told that I have a crore of exposure to equity, direct equity. So right. can I allocate more? Uh, so that this, also uh, depends uh, sir that also depends a lot on your risk appetite you know you can have as much exposure as you want in direct equity but then it should also be a level with which you are comfortable so amol is there any uh, uh, thumb rule that one should be sticking with uh, okay so my thumb rule over here is uh, mr ramki uh, this corpus is for your daughters all the future requirements so as of till the title such time that you are able to manage and handle that portfolio you can probably look at investing about 40 percent of the corpus into direct equities but mind you mutual fund investments probably is best way for somebody who does not want to take the headache or does not uh, have the required time or expertise or even let me use the word passion to manage the direct equity portfolio Let's move on and let's connect with uh, Girish from Pune. Uh, hi, Girish. Good evening. How are you doing? Oh, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Girish, for sending us your question. And uh, uh, all right. So uh, you want to understand if a multi-asset fund is better than a flexi cap one. And uh, right. you also want to know if there is any uh, reallocation strategy that needs to be adopted as far as your exposure in mid cap and uh, small cap is concerned. You want to understand if it's the right time to shift to large caps. And uh, you have a question on PMS of White Oak. Yes, White Oak and uh, Marcellus. CPM Marcellus. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. So let's address these questions uh, one by one. Amol. Let's just start with the most common question and I think that will be of having a rebalance in your portfolio if at all you're someone who's heavily exposed in mid cap and small cap. Time to shift towards heavily uh, in large cap. Right. Depending on your time of entry, mid caps and small caps have delivered anywhere between 30 to 50 percent kind of CAGR over last one year, two years, some of the schemes over last three years as well. So uh, Girish, you are absolutely right if the question comes to your mind whether this is the right time to rebalance. I would certainly side with you. This is the right time to rebalance. Uh, most of the times people are aware about the rebalancing between various asset classes that is from debt to equity, equity to debt depending on portfolio size and your risk appetite. But within equity also you can have an asset allocation. Small cap funds are very well known to have extended periods of higher drawdowns and extended periods of uh, flattish or even negative returns. Compared to that, large caps are slightly better in terms of kind of the, uh, the, uh, the kind of risk that you would want to take. So I would suggest if you theoretically, I'm not sure what's the kind of exposure that you started with, but if you started with a 50% exposure to large cap and 30 and 20 to mid and small cap, that exposure would have certainly got skewed because of higher mid and small cap return. So I would say yes, rebalancing is certainly in order. That's about the first question. Uh, second question about, um, you have asked about comparison between a flexi cap and multi-asset funds. Uh, so right off the bat, Girish, I would say that this is not the right, uh, you know, two schemes are not strictly comparable. Uh, flexi cap scheme is an out and out equity allocation. It probably invests 95 to 100% all uh, uh, is invested into direct equity at all points in time. And on the other hand, multi-asset, as the name itself, uh, you know, suggests, it has multiple assets in it. It certainly has equity, it has debt, it has gold or silver, uh, that is precious metal allocation. And some of the multi-asset schemes also have international equities. So I would say these two are strictly not comparable, so I wouldn't uh, go there or I wouldn't give my verdict. But I would certainly say that you want to create long-term wealth and you have higher risk appetite, flexi cap is the way to go. And if you have moderate or moderate to high kind of risk appetite and you want risk adjusted uh, slightly less volatile degree of returns, then I would say multi-asset funds are uh, funds that you should consider. All right. Also, the PMS question that he's asked about PMS of uh, Marcellus CCP and uh, White Oak PMS. Right. He's so been holding it from 18 months. Right. So regarding Marcellus, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, year to the 2021, 20, 21, 22, and 2023, 20, all these three years, year on year, this fund had significantly, the Marcellus CCP and Rising Giants, uh, two allocations that you have, 
uh, the, uh, these both of these allocations have significantly underperformed the benchmark forget even the peer group so we should know in what way do we uh, evaluate our portfolio there are two three ways of doing it one is uh, performance compared to the benchmark. Second is performance compared to the peer group. So uh, these funds have failed to beat the benchmark, the Marcellus variety. I think you can, and three years is a sizable period of time, you can probably look to invest. Why took you have, I'm not sure they have four PMS strategies. Which one have you invested? But if you have stayed or invested only for 18 months, I would suggest wait for three years for, uh, you know, kind of uh, to get Perform market performance across cycles and then it, then take a call for white oak uh, PMS. All right, all the best, Girish, and hope uh, that answers all your questions. I have one more viewer on the line with me, which is uh, Mr. Varun Kumar. Hi, good evening, Varun. How are you doing? Uh, ma'am, fine doing, ma'am. All right, Varun, Hello. I see that uh, you have SBI Focus, Quoting Emerging Equity, DSP, uh, Small Cap, ICICI Pro, NASDAQ. In your portfolio, you also have uh, Nippon India Nifty 50 Value 20 Index Fund. And uh, you want uh, a mid-cap category fund and you're also looking at a lump sum investment of 1 lakh and uh, the year will be, the duration would be for 18 years. And uh, yes, the SIP that you're doing right now is for 20 years. Okay. So... Yes, any specific corpus that you're looking at? I'm corpus. Uh, I'm not looking at, but I want just to invest in. Okay. And most you just priority want to question is. Right okay. Ah, yes, ma'am. Hmm. My first priority, Malav, very important priority for this question, ma'am. I want to invest lump sum in mid cap. So I want to invest and forget it. Okay, ma'am. Just invest it and forget it. So please suggest me one mid cap in which I can, in which I will invest one lakh rupees at a staggered way or. Uh, or in a horizon of sure. one year, but please suggest me one uh, one mid cap in which I have to suggest one lakh rupees, and kindly consider my portfolio allocation. What is uh, which sure. I have sent to you? Sure, sure, sure. All right, Varun, we've got your question. Amol. Uh, Varun, first of all, I am very glad that you are investing with a 20-year kind of an investment horizon. That is, of course, logical because your uh, goal is retirement uh, corpus creation. So that's good to hear. I am also glad you mentioned the word buy and forget. Uh, typically, that would suit very well, especially it may or may not work in equity shares because shares might have kind of uh, eager, some of the companies might not have good going for, let's say, next two decades. But since mutual fund uh, are managed by a professional fund manager and also so, a lot of uh, shares buying, selling, rebalancing also takes place. That's probably a good decision to buy and forget. Uh, I would say the 1 lakh rupees lump sum that you have to invest in mid cap, you can probably choose to invest in your own existing scheme of Kotak emerging equity. If you want to invest in another scheme, you can invest in Mutilal Oswal mid cap fund. I would still suggest every once in a year to, uh, uh, or once in two years, you should look at your portfolio, how the performance of various schemes compared to benchmark and peer group. Uh, another advice that I would like to give you, Varun, is for 8,000 or 8,500 rupees SIP, there is no need of having five or six or seven schemes. I would say consolidate all of these into three, maximum four schemes. You can probably have 4,000, three to 4,000 rupees exposure to SBI focused, which is your existing scheme. Excuse me. Two to three thousand rupees into Kotak Emerging or Motilal as well mid cap scheme that I have suggested, and two thousand rupees into DSP small cap. And although you have not asked us about the corpus that will be created, but this eight or nine thousand rupees of SIP over twenty year period, if twelve thousand twelve percent is the CAGR of the portfolio, then you'll accumulate about seventy five lakh rupees. And with the addition of this one lakh, this portfolio might even grow to anywhere between eighty three to eighty five lakh rupees. 20 years from now. All right, so that's a word coming in. Uh, keep uh, your investments, uh, I mean, do a step up of your investments and uh, also uh, try and review your uh, portfolio once in every six months, Maroon. That's also a piece of advice for you. But then we'll uh, uh, slip into a short break. But then post that, we have uh, more viewers connected with us and waiting to get their life financial planning done. If in case you also want to send across your questions, you can do that. Uh, our WhatsApp number and uh, our email ID that's flashing on the screen.
welcome back here watching the money show and uh, let's connect with our viewers i have with me uh, mr navdeep goel from bhatinda on the phone line with me uh, mr goel hi good evening thank you so much for uh, sending us your question and i believe you have quant active motlal oswal mid cap mira asset large and mid cap hdfc small cap in your portfolio so far the return that you're getting from this investment is 15% and uh, you want to earn 20% from this portfolio over the period of 5 years is that right Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Good evening, ma'am. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Navdeep. Good evening. So, Navdeep, I also want to know what what is your corpus uh, that you want to accumulate? Uh, ma'am. Uh, actually, I'm uh, spending ten uh, thousand per month. Twenty five hundred each in uh, as a fixed. Right. Right now, you are investing. Right now, you are investing ten thousand. But after uh, yeah. uh, five years. What is the amount that you need from this investment? Ma'am, with a twenty percent return. Twenty percent return. That's the target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, got it. Let's go quickly to a mole and a mole. Twenty percent from this portfolio per year to aggressive. Uh, Kavita, absolutely right. Navdeep, if you are listening, uh, you cannot really. No one, not you, not me, not Kavita, not anybody else. cannot uh, can actually demand returns from market and get it number 1 number 2 market returns are always a function of how the economy does within economy even if economy does well how your mutual fund scheme does and within that also other parameters like whether you truly invest for long term it also depends on what starting valuations are i would say existing current market valuations are slightly on the higher side not at average low level not at a cheaper level but on the premium side we have always on this show and uh, everywhere else uh, at least i uh, believe in probably looking at a 12% kind of cagr from the market see if you take 12% it does, uh, for calculations purpose it does not mean that your return will be sealed uh, at 12% if the market does better you will get 15 18 and probably more but i would say if you start with a 20% kind of requirement you are in for some kind of disappointment probably going in the future i would also suggest you to do some kind of reading into market valuations or how the returns uh, returns are a function of what in very simple language returns are function of the company's profitability and company's profitability is very very closely related to the nominal gdp growth that means gdp growth plus inflation if these numbers are about 11 to 13% then 12 13 or 11 to 13% is the kind of return that you should get coming to the schemes you have a mid cap scheme large and mid cap small cap if you are aggressive you can continue with this portfolio with regular reviewing All right uh, all the best Navdeep and with that it's a wrap on the money show today Mol thank you so much for taking time out and helping our viewers with their financial portfolio queries and I'm going to leave you with our uh, WhatsApp number and email ID where we keep uh, waiting for your questions so that our experts can answer your queries live on the show thank you so much for watching goodbye